Hey, Decluttering Club, I want to talk today about how you can change the state of your home um, by not working faster, but by changing the way that you work. You have to change the way that you approach decluttering, maintenance, cleaning up all of it. Okay. And let me explain what I mean by this. Okay. So I have this little car. I was looking for a car, couldn't find a car, but I have an ambulance here. Okay. So imagine, imagine an ambulance. An ambulance is driving along. Okay. And if it wants to go faster, it can do a couple different things. It can, the, the driver of the ambulance can just step on the gas. Okay. And that will work, right? It will go faster. But um, if the ambulance is in park, let's say, let's say the ambulance is parked and the driver is stepping on the gas and they are pressing on that, on that accelerator, the ambulance isn't going anywhere, right? The car isn't going anywhere if you are in park. It doesn't matter how much gas you're giving it, it's not going anywhere. Um, and if you think back to, I used to drive a manual, right? My very first car was a manual transmission and you had to change gears. So if you are in first gear or second gear um, and you are like stepping on the gas and you're flooring it, you are not really going that fast. doesn't matter how hard you're pressing the gas. So what you have to do is you have to switch gears. You have to shift into a higher gear. Otherwise you can work and work and work and you're not going anywhere and you're main, basically just treading water, right? Does that make sense? And that's what I see so many people doing is okay you've decided yes i'm ready to get rid of stuff i'm in it sounds great this decluttering stuff fantastic right some of you may be at that point and so you start getting busy and you start working and you're working 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 and you're shuffling things and you're looking through things and you're looking through boxes and um you're like why isn't this working why am i so exhausted why, um, you know, or yeah, like, like mommy Titus is saying, been bagging stuff to declutter and then feeling like I should try to sell it, right? You get stuck in your tracks um, because you haven't shifted from first gear into second gear, third gear, fourth gear, right? When you shift into third gear, how much gas do you have to give it? Not really that much. It's not really that hard. You can work less and have a better result. And this is so mind blowing. People, uh, people don't believe me when I say I have so much time. When, when I tell them, you know, it doesn't take a lot of work to keep my house together. I have four kids, you guys, four kids, two cats. They're running around like little maniacs right near, right now. Um, and a dog. And it is not hard. And I'm not saying that to make you feel bad. <laughs> I don't want you to feel bad but I want you to understand that you need to shift into the next gear in order to get to that place. Otherwise you're constantly like on this, this terrible treadmill, this hamster wheel, you know what I mean? So how do you shift into a higher gear? That's the question. Well, there's a lot of ways and there's a lot of techniques that you can do. Um, but especially if you are still parked, right? If you haven't started, or if you're in first gear, what you need is you need a plan. You need to look at the things that you are doing and really ask yourself, is this actually necessary, right? Like, do I really have to sell this or not, right? Maybe your brain's just telling you, you really should sell that. Like, but is it true, right? So you wanna look at what you're doing and you wanna make sure that you have a solid plan and then that you follow the plan because otherwise you're sitting in park and you got your foot in your floor in it. And that car is not going anywhere, right? It's not going anywhere. And um, that is really what I want to get across to y'all. You have to shift out of first gear or out of park. Um, now, I have a solution, obviously. I have things to sell you. I'm gonna be totally upfront about that, right? We've got stuff to sell you because it works and because it helps, okay? So I can come on here and we can do, we can do Instagram lives. We can do Facebook lives. Um, but until you come and join me and commit, you're not going to see the change that you need to see, right? We can't get through enough on an Instagram live, right? There's, it just doesn't work that way. I need your attention. We gotta, we gotta get some things clear. We gotta, I gotta teach you. Okay. So, um, we have, we have a call coming up in the next couple of weeks and it is 
what I'm calling the 10 minute decluttering plan. And it will get you out of first gear. It'll get you out of park and you can get on and start moving. And you wouldn't believe how fast you can go when you're in third gear, when you're in fourth gear, when you're in fifth gear, right? It is so amazing and it feels so good, right? It's the difference between kind of grinding along um, or actually kind of like coasting and flying and feeling good about it. I want you to be able to declutter and feel good at the same time. If you are miserable the whole time you're decluttering, you're probably not gonna wanna keep it up. You're probably not wanna get back the next day and do it again. Right? If you force yourself to, to grind through eight hours and you're miserable the whole time and it's torture, um, you're probably not gonna get up the next day and be ready to do it all over again. So you have to figure out how to enjoy it, how to actually have fun. Did you know you could have fun decluttering? It's so amazing. You could actually enjoy it. Um, and you want to get to the point where, uh, where it's going faster and it's more enjoyable and you feel good about it. Okay. And that is what we are doing, uh, in the 10 minute declaring plan. It is part of the step-by-step -step declaring workshop. That is, uh, the workshop is already available in our shop. And then this special bonus call is included for free with the workshop. Okay. So it's happening in the next couple of weeks. You can find this at the link in my profile. Right, so go to, the, go to our um, profile, click through to the link in profile, and you can get all the details. And Daisy here wants to say hi. Um, and you can join us for that call. Say hi. No. <laughs> She's, it's my little stinker. Um, yeah, so I want to make sure you know about that call because, like I said, that will shift you out of park and um, get you moving in a way that is sustainable, in a way that you can keep going, in a way that doesn't crash and burn. This is what happens to so many people they maybe they clean up maybe you've got the whole kitchen table clear and you're like oh my gosh i did it i can't believe i did it right and then you go on about your business and guess what happens a week later two weeks later a month later it looks the same as it did before or maybe it even looks worse and now you're like i spent all that time and for what you know why why can't i maintain that well it's because you cannot declutter and then just expect it to magically stay that way. You also need the skills of maintenance and you also need the you know, new decision making skills and all of these things that we teach inside the workshop and inside the membership. So um, it's not enough to just power through. It's not enough to just muscle through because that's going to burn you out. You're going to crash and burn. Um, you're going to hate every second of it and you're going to you're just never going to want to go back to it. So it's really important that uh, that you don't do that so much better to do 10 minutes a day. People get really mad at me when I say 10 minutes a day, but it is true because if you allow yourself to stop after 10 minutes, then guess what? You'll get back and do, you'll be willing to do 10 minutes later. Maybe you'll do 10 more minutes. Maybe you'll do, maybe you'll end up doing 10 minutes five times. That's almost an hour. That is going to add up, but only if you are kind to yourself and you let yourself stop, we call it, I like to call it, we got to quit while we are ahead. We don't want to overdo it. Right. And sometimes it's very tempting because sometimes you do feel like going and you're like, okay, we got to keep going. We can't stop. Or this feels so good. That is the time to pack up, to clean up and to come back later. Okay. It makes a huge difference. All right. Let me see if I have any questions here. Two weeks. How about two hours? <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. It, uh, it's not enough to clean up. That doesn't solve the problem. You have to go way beyond that, right? And I think that is what most people don't, they just don't understand, right? And it's not that any of you, it's not that you're stupid. It's not that you're lazy. It's not that, you're ho that your situation is hopeless. It really isn't, I promise you that. Um, but what it is, is that you just don't know the skills that you need to have in order to, to actually maintain it and to actually sustain it over time. You just don't know. Nobody ever told you. You didn't, you didn't grow up with it or you didn't learn it. And that's the only reason why you don't have it right now, right? It's not that you're not capable. I promise you, it doesn't matter how bad your house is. It doesn't matter how, how large the piles are. I have seen it all. Um, nothing shocks me. And I will probably be less, much less, you know, less triggered by whatever it is that is really like keeping you down in the dumps. And that's because I know that this is not that big a deal. It's just 
you know, it's just working through it and hopefully having a good time. Okay. So I hope that is helpful to you. I hope that that gives you some, some hope because again, you just haven't learned the skills and I want to teach them to you. So that's why you got to come to the tenant declaring plan call that we have coming up in the next couple of weeks. Click through to the link on the link in my bio. Um, it is the step-by-step -step decluttering workshop. We have a special going on right now. Um, it's half off, right? The workshop is half off and it includes the free bonus call for the, um, for the tenement declaring plan. This will give you all the tools that you need to get started and get moving and shift from park, right? Park into first, second, third gear, and you will be off to the races. All right, you guys, I hope you can make it. Hope to see you there and, um, I'll catch you later. Take care, everyone.